How can I dynamically show and hide fields based on other field settings? And this is for individual fields that we're going to try and show and hide. So what I have here is I have a show more fields, yes, no, it's a two option option set um, that's set up on my form. I'm going to save it. I'm going to quickly publish it so that I can show you it on the main form. We'll refresh this. So show more calcs, yes, no. We could also turn this into a, a, an on-off selection. But um, what I'd like to do is when yes is selected, all of these fields are going to show up. When no is selected, all of them are hidden. So what we can do is we can go back to our, um, our business rule setting. Actually, what we'll do is we'll start from scratch with a new one. So we're going to go back to our form. We're going to select business rules. We're going to new business rule, new, do a new business rule. We'll call it show, hide, stats, and then our condition is if show, show more calcs equals any value of yes, and you can see we have equals does not equal, and then we could select um, at the value of another field or that particular field's value. So what we're going to do is we're going to do value and yes, we'll hit our checkbox to accept the condition and we could do multiple conditions if we wanted. The multiple conditions are and only, there's no or function on this. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll set visibility. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set visibility at the same time on one business rule for all of these fields. So what we're going to do is products per employee. We'll hide the field, check. We'll add another one, set visibility, um, number of employees, hide field. And actually what we'll want to do is we'll want to reverse this since I'm hiding. So we'll want to say only when it's no that we're going to hide the field. So as you can see, what I've done is I have my one condition that if show more calcs equals no, which it does right now, then we're going to hide all of our fields that are in this section. Um, and then what we might do is we might set a business rule that uh, if they clicked yes, then it would unhide all of them. Um, that's probably what you would want to do. We'll just leave this for now. We'll save it. Activate. Activate. Okay, and we'll refresh. So show more calcs is no. So you can see all my fields under this section have disappeared. Now if I change it to yes, there isn't a business rule that makes them visible. So we have to do a second business rule to make sure that we can toggle back and forth. And what we could do is we could just copy the business rule and we could quickly, without having to reselect all of the fields, just change back um, our selection. I'll show you how to do that really quick also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as, and then I'm going to show stats, and when this equals yes, and we can just plow through these different uh, fields here to show field, show field, okay, we'll save this. We'll activate it. Yes, activate. So now if show more calcs equals yes, we're going to show all of these fields. So we'll quickly refresh our form here.
And now because I have yes selected, we're showing all the fields. If I toggle this back, it'll go to no, and all of my fields will hide. And that's why it's important to have the two business rules. I've obviously um, grabbed a field that shows up in three places on the form. So be aware that it's not, if you put a field on a form multiple times, all of those fields it's going to hide. So I have a number of employees down here, a number of employees here, and also a number of employees in the header. I can hide items from the header and other places on the field unintentionally. And it's important to also know that you need the two business rules in order to, when the form loads and it's selected as no, that it hides the fields and then to toggle back and forth because the business rule isn't smart enough to undo the hiding of the field when no is selected.